Yeah, I'm going to go up there. 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 I'm going to go up Y'all Bashmael Shah is gearing up for a transition of, 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 of uh, destruction that's coming up, man. The new year is about, the so-called new year is, like, is about to be ushered in, and you people have no clue what's ahead, man. Hey, the scriptures say written within is lamentation, mourning, and woe. Meaning what? Death, death, and more death, man. That's all judgment and destruction. So ultimately, if you're, if you're not in uh, the graces and in the faith of Y'all Bashmael Shah, paying attention, and blowing that trumpet as a watchman, because that's the job of you men, it tells us the flock of the Lord's pastor are men. So if you're not doing these things according to what's written, hey man, hey, you're going to have a crazy uh, judgment up ahead, man. And we're out here on the highway to head just to warn you of these things before they come, man, so that you may repent. The purpose of life, the purpose of what I was going to say was, like, basically, it's that serious that we're out here in these conditions. In the wintertime, when it's raining, when it's cold, the blazing heat in the summertime, we're always out here, so there's no excuse that you can't get this message. Yeah. Plus, in that, in that, we show our sincerity that we believe in, in what the scriptures say, that we're out here at these times to make sure that we're preaching fire. And hey. they're available to come to, to come and uh, get the, uh, the application so they can repent. Hey, during some um, harsh conditions, you know, hurricane oh, seasons. Yo, we see those clips of the reporter with the fucking with the, with the hurricane about to blow him away. Water. And yeah, he's still out there. Yeah, yeah. Look at him. You're like, damn. You're like, damn. What's good for forecast? This man take this job serious, you know? How much, how, much more, how much more the profits, man? You know? Hey, we're out here. We did the video like five years ago, man. The in season, out of season, like the compilation of the video. No man shall redeem you. No man is going to save you. 
it's gonna have to be through the spirit of Prophet Yahweh Shinnah Shine that you make it out of here alive, man, on the chariot. Daniel chapter 12, verse 1, it says, And at that time, shall the mighty Babylonian kingdom come to stand up. The great prince is standing for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation trouble. Yeah, for the nation even for that same time. Yeah, and if, if, if the men you're watching aren't telling you at this dangerous time, hey, yo, you're watching the wrong men. Because they're not they're not preparing you hey, for the for the hell that's about to meet you, man. And that's that's completely misleading the fuck. Hey, you, you have a duty to teach the, the so-called nastiness or the bitter of the scripture as a prophet. Yeah. What else are you going to be really prophesying about, man? Even to that same time, look, look at these niggas, man. for everybody, man. That deliverance of individuals is speaking for the, the, the elect, man. When we go into the book of uh, Romans, the Shut on, bro. you know, it talks about a hey, Israel have not uh, obtained that which is seeking yeah, for, but the election have obtained. And when those are those same men that are going to protect, men and women that's going to be protected, what the scriptures are talking about, man. And this dangerous time is coming soon. Hey, can my brother grab that uh, section that you that 16? Um, where it talks about uh, the birth pain. Yeah. You know? Because that, this, this is, this is the, the um, uh, the, yeah, those are the distractions right now where we're at, man. You know, the, uh, if you go on the RT at uh, any time of uh, this week, there's about 12 articles just on famine in every country, man. You got mm -hmm. articles in the UK, famine. Articles here is talking about famine. California, and it said the California, um, uh, are uh, speaking of a drought. Drought, and yeah. The, um, food crisis there, man. So these are the times that we're coming into. What are you people going to do when you can't eat? See, it's the start now. It's, it's games now because you can still go to McDonald's. You, know, you can still eat your favorite restaurant up, your Uber Eats. Hey, but what, what, is, what are you going to do when there's no excess of food available for you? Amen. Yeah. I don't think that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm going to say. Um, well, yeah, even if you can get to an orange uh, uh, bowl, pick oranges and lemon and shit, you know, how much of that you gonna eat? If you get to a windshield or a closer, how much of that you gonna eat that way? But if they, yeah. Not in the natural form. The process, right? Yeah. You gotta have it broken down into bread. You can't eat wheat without the bread. You can't eat uh, 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 cookies. You can't eat, you know, these things gotta be. You don't want to kill people. That's what I'm talking about. Cut the chicken. Deep feather the chicken. Cut the chicken up and do all those things. And even if they can't get food, it's gonna be hyperinflation. Right. So you gonna you want a goddamn burger from McDonald's? It's gonna cost you maybe forty dollars. Yeah. You know? They call it shrinkflation. Shrinkflation, man. So this is this is what's happening, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like for example, they talking about they entertaining, huh? The fact that uh, they they're, they're trying to pass. Well, they they saying that they passed it where uh, California's going to give uh, two hundred twenty-three thousand uh, dollars for a household reparation. Now, if they were to do some shit like that, then that's them admitting that this economy is pretty much done. They just go ahead and just handshake all that money. They're admitting to you right then and there that this this current economy is just through. And, and, and I wouldn't be surprised if they do that and call hyperinflation. And you know, basically everybody gets angry with Jacob because when, when he saw this, you can walk through, Ross. You can walk through. He saw just decided to hand it over to him, but it's not going to be an actual money, digital money. Yeah. So Jake is going to eat this. They're going to eat it up, man. They're going to really think 
that this is, you know, you start showing favor with him all of a sudden. And yeah. Jay's going to put Jake, you know, in a passive fight. Yeah. But we know the script is safe. Yeah. And you figure it's going to be like, they're not going to give Jake all that money in one lump sum. It's going to be rationed out. It's going to be stifling where you get conditioned to getting that money, like the UBI that we always, you know, we bring up and speak about. Side, man, you're not really a prophet. You're, you're, you're another um, wolf in sheep clothing. 